okay, we left with me going on to the anomaly and it switched to my bring news to Ar of Artemis to nada uh, decline. Yeah, the anomaly you could get multiplayer games going. So, often after you do stuff in the Artemis line, you go to the Anomaly to tell Nada about it. And you'll get Quicksilver in exchange for that. So I would, I would take it every time. Nada saw a signal, traveler friend. Did you connect with Artemis entity? So I tell Nada about Artemis. Artemis friend wishes to meet other travelers but they have it seems Artemis friend has forgotten Nada curious it is good to help this entity traveler friend but Nada advises caution so I ask who Artemis is Artemis entity was is a traveler entity one like you Nada had made them safe they were known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis entity, but a different iteration. Another way for Artemis entity to be. For fraud, the universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules and they would punish us. All right, continue to help Artemis. So, um, we will switch the quest in a minute back to what we were doing. Hit escape, go to log. Alone amidst the stars. Now, let's head out. We use C to scan. Data to Artemis. We're gonna get the where is it? There. Use shift to get away from this. Left shift. look for the rings, usually there's a free landing, but I don't see it coming out here. There we go. When it's green, you hit E. I try and pick up stuff off the camera. that noise. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Activate. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... 
Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words and communication. Good luck or maybe see you soon. Artemis translator, one microprocessor, and a hundred copper. Okay, a couple of things. First, we're supposed to install the Artemis translator. Technology installed. And I have enough copper and enough microprocessors to do that. The next thing I'm going to do, I notice I need dioxide on several of these items and oxygen. And this planet has dioxide. So I'm going to fly around and look for dioxide and oxygen. So I'll do most of that probably off the camera. The dioxide will also feed my thermal protection. So I'm going to do this for a while. Okay, we got some dioxide. I'll refill this. Then on the starship, oxygen and dioxide. Repairing. Technology and oxygen and dioxide. Okay. And the oxygen and dioxide. Notice opening these things up would be a lot cheaper than paying for new spots on a space station. So recovering the ship early on in the game is probably more worthwhile. You know, using the ship. Let's get a planetary chart to see if we can locate the relic that it's asking me to do. Exchange specific charts. I believe it would be alien that gives the ancient artifact site. Says use the planetary chart to locate a relic. So we go to the chart, E to plot root. Ancient ruin, so we'll go there.
here. The imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Vikings somehow spills out in the language of my own people. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of her commands it. The Vikings shall honor the judgment and the belief of the ancients. Seek help with language. My knowledge of the Viking increases. Ah, uh, there, we got calibration. Now it says learn words from knowledge stone. Usually there's three of them, so let's see if we can find the other. head up to that one. And there, that finishes the calibration. go to an outpost. Using C gives me the location of the outpost. Right there. Approximate location, so let's look around for the outpost. It's large, so it should be noticeable. Bingo, right here. Get him to read the map. The warrior watches me approach and then rolls a selection of marked cubes across the surface. In front of them, they examine the results, grunt, and look at me with what appears to be disappointment. Interloper, such little honor. Viking are unimpressed. Through the garble of Artemis Translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Viking. I need to improve my reputation rank. All right. So it suggests raising my standing at mission boards. 
So what we're gonna do Visitor met 20 aliens. I get two stars. We're going to do what he said. We're going to go to the mission boards. And in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to um, stack missions and do missions in the game. But we're, we're not just going to do one mission. We're going to do a bunch of missions. Probably more than we'll actually need. Also, we're going to shoot some asteroids because we need, um... We need tritium because we're kind of short of tritium. See the tritium? See 316. Oh, that gave me antimatter. Okay, next episode will be mission boards.